Hey guys, today I will go over a deck list and you guys can probably see the cards. I'm not going to go every single card, but I will read you the deck list. And I'll talk about certain cards. Uh, Hanger Back Walker, that card is a 4 of in the Abzan Control, Abzan Aggro. So we're doing Abzan Aggro and then we'll do Abzan Control and then I'll note, I'll let you guys know the differences. Uh, online, it's 260 tickets. Um, on paper, it's $362. Where did all the money go? Hanging Back Walker is a prime example of a four of in multiple decks. So picking up a playset, I mean, it's always going to be good. It's going to be played in any type of deck, really. Like Abzan Aggro plays it. It's it's very very good. Uh, so it's about ten bucks a piece. Then you got Den Protector, which is also ten bucks a piece, and it is also a four of. You have Fleece Main Lion, which isn't that much. You have. Um, and a Fezzer. Okay, those were online actually. So paper, wow, okay, <laughs> Hang a Back Walker and paper is around $18. Oh, that's pretty crazy. Dan Protector is still around 10 bucks. Fleece Main Lion is around 2 And a Fezzer. Um, I love Anna Fezzer to death. She's around $4. She is a 4 of as well. And Siege Rhino is at around $2. He's a 4 of. Then Wingmate Rock rounding it up. A very, very strong top end card. You got Jomoka's Command, um, and I'll have the complete deck list uh, in the links below if you want to make the deck. I think it's a very strong deck. Uh, it's the deck I'm playing with right now. I changed between aggro and control, and I'm going to tell you it is very nice to have uh, this build because it's very easy to change your entire deck, if you will, and not have to pay off the nose for it because a lot of the cards are the same. You got Jomoka's Command, you got, uh, you got Free Jomoka's Command, Two ultimate price, uh, three abs and charms, uh, two heroes downfall, and two Soren's lore so Solum visitor. Uh, Soren's about eight bucks, nine bucks, so he is a little pricier. Uh, you got three caves of Colossus, uh, two forests, three land of war waste, two plains, four st sand steep citadel, three temple of malady, one temple of plenty, three temple of silence, an org bog, and four wind swept heaths. Uh, your sideboard looks pretty clean as well. Uh, two Dores, uh, three Thought Seas, Thought Seas being you know, one of the more pricey cards that's over $22 right now. Uh, two Self Inflicted Wounds, another ultimate price to round it up. Two Heralds of Torment, I love that card, but it is rotating out. Um, three Tragic Arrogance, that card's an interesting card to play in this deck, but it is good. It is very good because your creature is going to be better than your creature. And two Elspeth Suns champions to go over the top. Again, the deck list will be below. It is a very, very powerful deck. And uh, the reason it's so powerful is it, match it matches up very good against the current meta. So against Red Green Devotion, um, it is greatly favored. It has a 65% win ratio. Uh, you are in Soul Artifact, which is the trending deck of the right now. It is greatly favored at 62.59% win ratio. Mono Red Burn is, <laughs> Mono Red Burn, everyone either has, you are in Soul Artifacts or Mono Red Burn. It is greatly favored at 60.58% and I'll have these stats as well. Uh, what decks is it? It's also good against Jeske Temple and Absent Control. It's slightly favored over the Absent Control version of it. But as you can, as you will tell later, Control has a different matchup against some of these more popular decks. Um, it is not good against Esper Dragons, and it's not good against Black Red Dragons, essentially over the top. I'm going to hit you with my 4-4 Flyer decks. Um, it is not against, good against Flying cards. So the deck itself is uh, very, very good. I recommend building it mainly because, yeah, rotation is coming, but you can also build the control version of it pretty easily. Like, And the control version is different, um, but it... It's not as good in my opinion, and the results will show, but I just like to have be able to play like a different deck every week and not have to worry about, let's say, like spending 200 more dollars to finish the new deck. Anyway, that is Absent Aggro. We're going to do Absent Control next. Bye, guys.